Okay, hello dear friends. Good afternoon. What a beautiful, beautiful afternoon. So I did my outfit of the day as you have seen and I decided to go out. So I came to a nice place. Maybe you can see my shoes. I just feel so happy. So happy to, to be pretty. <laughs> Not really pretty. So I didn't do any uh, editing. You can still see my hand pressing the button and everything. It's quite silly, but um, but uh, you will get some uh, sense of uh, the real, what is happening behind the scene <laughs> kind of things. So Friday evening, I finished my work and I came back home and I did something else, did an errand, a very important errand. And uh, I finished at uh, three something. Where do I go to? Such a beautiful, beautiful afternoon. Actually, when I started to go out, the sunshine has disappeared. And then, as I was making this video, sunshine came out and then covered and then came out and then covered. So, it's a, a very tender and a mild uh, spring afternoon and Friday spring afternoon. Friday, as you know, this year my schedule is a very, uh, a, a very heavy schedule on Friday. So I was exhausted, but um, one of uh, a better way to, to recover myself is to get some fresh air, to see some pretty and beautiful things. So I came out, where do I go? I was asking myself. And uh, I wanted to go to a nice place, so uh, maybe the place where where it is good to see spring. So I came to this place called Villa Montalvo. And uh, it is changed the name actually. Now it's called Montalvo Art Center for some um, for some narrow-minded reason or for something that uh, I just uh, Feel Villa Montalvo is such a romantic and beautiful name, and Montalvo Art Center make it very neutral and it lost a lot of its flavor. And uh, Art Center, those kind of center, to begin with, center. This word center, I am not so much interested. Uh, center is a very neutral word and. Uh, do you get my feeling? Center. It's a very political correct and it's a very corporate feeling, right? When you build a, 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 a complex with, uh, with this, that facility, it's an entertainment center or it's a, a training center or it's a medical center, or it's an educational center, and it's a, a, a science center, center, something. It, um, I just feel it lose a lot of its, uh, its exquisite, uh, beautiful feeling in it, or, or, or very exotic feeling as villa. So I still call it Villa Montalvo. There must be a reason that they changed the name. And uh, there must be some historical reason or political reason, which I do not know. And uh, I do not need to know too much. And there are some other things I do not know. And, uh, and uh, I will slowly let you let you what it is about. Just look at the scene and enjoy the beautiful, beautiful, beautiful sight in front of your eyes. And, uh, and this is uh, just off the parking lot. 
I came down from that little water tower or water pavilion and walked along these um, this pass and the tree covered with art installation and uh, with art uh, and and uh, art sculptures and it's very artsy this place it is true for example they made um, they made road sign that um, that you cannot imagine its meaning and you have to think to get to know the, fee the, the, the meaning of it. And uh, on the other side, there are some uh, sculptures and things, and the flower, look at the flower. So this is the Montalvo's, uh, Villa Montalvo, and, uh, <coughs> and this is the main building in this place. And inside there is uh, a library, which I have never been inside, and uh, I think it does not open to public. It's uh, and uh, if people use it, if you pay money, you can rent it for for some functions. They might have some uh, some appreciation or some. Uh, volunteer appreciation where they open up the inside you can you can go inside but uh, I have never been inside but uh, only from the outside look at it it's a such a such a classic and beautiful beautiful uh, building construction very well sought and uh, very well designed architect architecture so this is the inside you can uh, sneak peek to see what is inside and uh, I think uh, they made into some function room you can rent for for a dinner for there are a lot of weddings happening into inside in this uh, in this estate and uh, I checked uh, before I go I before I went out I checked uh, Villa Montalvo uh, on on YouTube and then there are these uh, wedding uh, wedding introduction or wedding ceremony and uh, wedding and wedding and wedding and beautiful people kissing each other not kissing each other bride and bridegroom kissing and beautiful closing and make it very fairy tale and very outwardly and uh, just uh, just um, just a beautiful place and um, and this one, this place is open to the public, and anybody can go into the the Villa Montalvo. And there are not so many people coming here because maybe because it's a Friday evening, maybe because it's a far away from um, from commerce. Why do people go to art place, right? When you you have more fun in shopping, in go to go to restaurants and go to shops and shopping malls, right? <laughs> the the um, sarcastic of uh, our life. Anyway, it's very beautiful. Very beautiful and have a walk in this place, have a walk, and uh, sitting there really can, can, can set up your mindset and can make you, yeah, make you think different. And uh, it's very relaxing. And uh, this is the kind of place when you, when you have problem, you go there, and then you realize you really have 
a lot of problems. You have more problems. And you will think why some people can have such a big, huge estate and me have nothing and nothing at all. I ain't got anything. I ain't got nothing. <laughs> oh, a miserable life. Anyway, okay. I will come to to more appreciative uh, talk. <laughs> okay. And uh, I make these videos is to 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 make you happy, to make me happy, to make everybody happy. Sometimes talk something silly and uh, and uh, funny might be might be a little bit uh, light-hearted. And, uh, okay, so this place, and uh, I checked, is uh, the country estate of uh, James Phelan, Phelan, F Phelan, 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 James Phelan. Okay, I have a hard time to pronounce it. P H E L A N. He used to be San Francisco uh, ma mayor, and uh, his family was uh, was his parents immigrated from Ireland, Irish immigration. And he was born here. He went to university, UC Berkeley, to learn about law and uh, and uh, uh, San Francisco State University. Graduate from San Francisco State University, and uh, he was a banker. He worked on investment and a lawyer. He studied law. And their family made uh, a fortune from uh, California gold rush at, um, I think, at uh, 18, end of 1800s and uh, at the beginning of 19, 1900s. It's, uh, w it was uh, the golden La Belle Époque, La Belle Époque of San Francisco. It was the starting uh, and the booming period of San Francisco. A lot of fascinating story from that time. And uh, so their family made a good living and made a good fortune. And uh, he, because he did uh, 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 banking, and uh, he made a lot of fortune. And he became the mayor of San Francisco, elected he. And um, so he made this country uh, country residence. And, uh, and the legend had it that uh, he made this country legend uh, and uh, used this country, country residence, a country house as a party house. And uh, now and then he invited uh, uh, Hollywood stars, uh, politicians, uh, famous celebrities coming here to to have fun there. I can very well imagine that part. Yeah, and um, he he was um, um, I think he was uh, participated in in the election and uh, trying to be a United States a senator. I think he, f he, he failed or something. He, he lost. Anyway, uh, if you are interested, you can search for James D. James Duval Phelan. And uh, I was just fascinated by the story. And then I started to search internet, uh, and uh, I got into something even more disturbing and uh, and uh, more shocked or more uh, make me very hard to understand what it is. So, <coughs> uh, Mr. Philan, he was one of the strong advocate to for racial segregation. He 
managed to pass a certain uh, rule or laws to stop Japanese immigration. He was against Japanese immigration, against Chinese immigration, against Asian immigration. And uh, he thought that uh, the, the Asian people, he's particularly against Asian immigration because uh, uh, I think he said Asian immigration was too much adherent to their own value and, uh, and the culture and it's hard to assimilate uh, with the United States, with America, so should ban the immigration from, uh, from Asia. And uh, a lot of these things, it's uh, quite, um, I don't know what to say, what to think about it. And um, time changes. And he thought that uh, Asian will take away the, 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 the jobs of the white. And he wanted to make San Francisco into a beautiful San Francisco. So San Francisco, the beautiful, his slogan, he made buildings and he made, he made a beautification of the city and uh, a construction and a lot of things. He made a lot of effort to make San Francisco beautiful. And uh, the main purpose or the main, main, main theme of this San Francisco beautiful is the white beautiful, the white people, the white beautiful. And uh, it's very controversial when you think it now. And, um, and n just think about it 100 years ago the cultural value and uh, and now the cultural value is so different and um, and now i am here it just makes me when when i was there when i was uh, filming it at the moment now i am at home doing my voice over one day later because I searched online to search about uh, about uh, this place and search about this person and uh, become fascinated by all the stories and uh, everything behind behind it and become fascinated about it. So it's. Uh, It's just, uh, I am speechless in front of this. And uh, if I was born a hundred years earlier, I was banned from entering to this country, this place. And now I am standing on the land of used to be his land. What can I think? And I sincerely appreciate the beauty of this place. And I sincerely appreciate the serenity of, uh, of the surrounding, of the mountain. It is beautiful by any definition, by any standard. And it's very well sought design. And this design was done with heart and soul, with appreciation. And with appreciation and uh, and admiration of uh, Western culture, of the European Western culture, 
the Occidental Civilization. And it is beautiful. This world is composed of beauty of every kind and any kind. And when something is done with heart and soul, with appreciation, it is beautiful. Knowing the background of this place should not become an obstacle for me to appreciate the beauty of this place. This is what I am thinking. Maybe you totally disagree with me. Maybe we, we became too sensitive about political things, about religious things, about ethnic things, and, uh, and if we think we are all human beings, and uh, each person is trying to safeguard to protect what this person believes in. It is a much deeper question than, than what I can what I can explain, what I can, what I can speak clear. Maybe there need to be a deeper philosopher to explain that. And uh, forget about anything just enjoy. Enjoy is not a good word. Let us stop. Let us slow down like the water, like my stop motion. We can artificially, intentionally stop the water running and slow down the speed of this video. Maybe we should put on a slow down button on our thoughts, on our on our busy lifestyle, on our on our rational, on our too fast, too too rushed decision or conclusion. So Fila made a lot of effort to make San Francisco beautiful and to promote art. And this place is one of his contribution to promote art. And uh, when he died, he decided to give this residence to the county of San Santa Clara and make it a place open to the people and to promote art and art education. And this is why this place, I guess this is the place now called Montalvo Art Center. 
and they have a residence art program and uh, and uh, each year they they receive application and get uh, a few dozen of artists living here and uh, doing art production and in uh, in uh, 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 secluded or, or enclosed environment and away from the hush and rush of everyday life and from the temptation of, uh, of outside world and come to this place to meditate, to be inspired. And uh, I, I kept receiving uh, email invitations and email messages, e email information about their art program. They have a teacher training program and with, with minimal fee or sometimes no fee at all for coming here to, to get a different kind of training, some art training, uh, mostly about art because they, their goal is to promote art. The teacher training one is uh, a mathematical dance program and another one some painting or drawing some teacher development program how to how to uh, uh, write a, a lesson plan how to bring art into your classroom a lot of these things they are really doing great things in in, in promoting art and in art education. And, um, and they had concert. And as I was entering in, maybe at the beginning you can hear people talking that was uh, the t uh, ticket sale for concert. I think Clint Eastwood's son, son the son of Clint Eastwood, had uh, done cons concert here and uh, some other artists done, done cons concert here and uh, performance theater. There was a small theater, inside theater, pretty small, but very comfortable and uh, velvet chair. Do you know how I know it? <laughs> and uh, I tell you how I knew there how I know their, 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 their inside uh, theater place. They have an outdoor concert, concert place, like a Greek theater, and they had an inside, uh, I think it's called a carriage or something, an inside concert, uh, uh, theater. So there was one summer my husband signed up my sons to have a, a, a training, a summer or spring camp here. So they have some theater camp, a circus camp, and different kind of camp. And then I came here, and uh, every day I came to send my sons here for one or two weeks, I forgot, maybe for one week five days and then at the end they had a performance so I went to see the performance I was sitting inside the concert uh, the, the theater so I got to see it and uh, and they had uh, summer class they had uh, spring break class and, uh, and uh, Hondone walk what do we say? Uh, um, a hiking tour and something they had. Okay. Maybe you want to listen to the water and listen to the surroundings. like to sneak peek through the window. <laughs> there is nobody, nobody there. And uh, yeah. Life
life is a, such a strange sea. History is such a strange sea. This is uh, James Duval Filan and uh, and uh, he I think he must be quite a, an, an accomplished mayor of San Francisco, uh, a quite uh, famous in, uh, uh, historical figure. And uh, there are many streets in his name. And uh, I searched San Jose, there are two or three streets. And in San Francisco, there are two or three or four streets. And there was, uh, there is a city, there is a city in Navajo, Mojave, Mojave Desert, and was named after him and his uh, brother also. And in San Francisco, there was a building called Filan Beauty. Uh, did you see me? <laughs> That's me with my, with my gimbal. And uh, hello, I am <laughs> hello. So, <coughs> and uh, and now I made a lot of uh, attention in making video. I try to move the camera slower because. Uh, uh oh, sometimes it's not flat because uh, I was moving. I try to make it as the least movement because with our eyes, when we are moving, we do not see things clearly. And uh, our human eyes are very sophisticated, complicated, and uh, a high achiever is uh, a super achiever, our eyes. We can see things while moving, and we can zoom in things with our attention immediately. But camera, cell phone, all these mechanic stuff, they are not as good as our eyes. When they know the focal point, when they know the point we are interested in, they can focus and they can capture very good view, better than our eyes, because it it can magnify, it can focus, it can mag magnify much better than us. We see something, our eye does not magnify, right? But uh, camera, you can you can zoom in, zoom out to to magnify it. But if you move fast, the camera cannot figure out where you are zooming in. And then it cannot capture the right image. It does not capture the clear, crispy, clear image. And also, it change, especially. This does not happen in camera so much. And if you use uh, a, a cell phone, the cell phone change because the, the, the image, color change, image, uh, the whole seam of color change because of the color balance. If there are too much dark in this space, a lot of dark, then it slowly, uh, I think it slowly open up to get more, to, to have a better vision of the dark. If there is too, a lot of white, then it, automatically change its full change its color balance to make it adjust into the white so machine this iphone uh, the, the, this cell phone and uh, camera they are very good at following instruction and following uh, your purpose once they get to your purpose but if you do not give them clear instruction, then it cannot get a good image. And uh, this is the trees. The, the trees has a lot of uh, art pieces there. 
there was a meaning by one of the residence artists. And I, I didn't know what the meaning is, but I find it uh, kind of interesting. And uh, on the other hand, kind of disturbing. <laughs> The tree, happy tree, why do you do things on top of it? It is very well happy enough. But, but yeah, who knows? Mm. Life will be boring without this egg. But uh, life will be disturbing. <laughs> our vision, our view will be disturbed with this egg. Anyway, mm. it's... Uh, it's very subjective. It's very, it's very a personal thing. You may think it's art. You may think it's not art. It's your choice. And uh, so we come back to the camera thing. So once you slow down your camera, and uh, or you slow down your cell phone, and stay in one place, it can quickly figure out, oh, this is what you are trying to get. Okay, I get it. So it can capture something, uh, something better, something with clear image. Oh, this movement is a little bit too fast. Mm. And sometimes it's not easy to to slow down the movement. I was moving very, very, very slow, actually. And as people walk, as I walk, because I walk always towards the same direction, and camera did not move, uh, uh, and the, 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 the cell phone did not move much. So it relatively can capture some, some of the image, capture it better. So now I put my cell phone in, in uh, uh, now I put my screen in full screen so that uh, I can see things clearly. Let me turn off the light. Gosh, imagine if I put it on television. This one can be connected to television. The whole screen of uh, of uh, of the beautiful view in front of my eyes is quite interesting. Eh? Ew, that's so cool. I remember one friend said, wow, that's so beautiful. I, I cropped a lot of uh, screenshot a lot of the image and uh, and uh, got some quite uh, fascinating views of the of what is happening there it is fascinating right do you feel good do you feel, gosh, life is so unfair. They have this, and I, uh, I ain't got nothing. <laughs> OK, let's move on. Let's move on. Enjoy. Enjoy fresh air. Enjoy. There are too many things. We did not know. And there are too many things we did not understand. And it's OK. We do not know. We do not understand. It's OK. We live happy life. We live our life. We live our usual life. And uh, we have to live intentionally not letting things to drag us down, to put us in bad spirit. No matter 
what is happening. We learn to disregard things that makes us unhappy. Uh, you can see the color change of this video, right? But mostly, I, I'm pretty sure majority of you are sleeping now. Why I take so much effort to make this video, you must be already falling asleep. And uh, and there are quite some sculptures here. And in California, usually there are not so many sculptures, except in San Francisco, in big cities. Fascinating. See the color change. And uh, the cell phone is adjust its uh, color balance. Now the color change. You can see there are less green. And, uh, and uh, the sky is taking up the majority, so it change again. And the camera is kind of losing its uh, the, 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 the cell phone is kind of losing its zoom. There are too many things in the screen, and it cannot uh, understand where to focus on. Now it gets back to a better focal point. Let's mm -hmm. walk here. Door is uh, closed. Open the door. Oh, this must be quite noisy. The metal sound. That's this video must be too long. And I remember. Uh, Two or three years ago, when I came here, it must be longer than two or three years ago. And uh, must be five years ago, something. When I came here, this part of, not this part, this part was always there. The main, the main construction was always there. And uh, the one I am in now, this enclosed garden, is kind of new. Maybe they redid it or something. And uh, they started to build a lot, or they started to plant a lot of uh, new trees, you can definitely see the fruit trees, the trees, and the flowers are pretty new, small, young, young trees. And, uh, Too many things we do not understand. And uh, 
we live in a world of of complexity, of contradiction, of uh, of conflict, of uh, things just uh, beyond our beyond our beyond my brain power. I remember uh, I read one time from where there was a, um, a very, very uh, a, a story, not story, a very, very prim primitive animal. And uh, it's not even a, an, an animal. It's a kind of small worm. And uh, the worm's life is only uh, dig into the earth and then they die and uh, it's uh, smaller than a fingernail or something and uh, there was one little dot in his uh, in the, the worm's body little dot is his brain and it said that this worm is so simple and uh, doing any complicated job Besides, digging the war, digging the earth is an overkill <laughs> for their little brain. <laughs> anyway, this world, this world, this world, this uh, this world is so complicated, and so many fascinating, complicated things is beyond my. It's beyond my comprehension and trying too hard to understand is an overkill for my brain so I do as much as I can do I think this is a fountain of fortune or something uh, I forgot it's from a mythology if if any of you know it you may want to explain but you must be sleeping already there used to be water and as I was walking there I was just thinking this place is beautiful oh, the flower but uh, mostly it is used for people sweating and uh, the definition of wedding gosh wedding is uh, such an interesting thing the most beautiful thing of two lives unite together and decide to unite their life for the rest of their life and then there are people drinking and drunk oh. any good thing will have something contradictory to this goodness to happen together maybe there is nothing wrong of no, there is nothing wrong with people having fun and enjoy. And uh, the core to this matter, or the essence to any enjoyment, is limit. When we enjoy without, when we enjoy without limitation. We do wrong things. We have the capacity to be good and we also have the capacity to be bad, to be very bad.
understand as much as you can and ignore when you cannot. Nature is neutral. When you have problem, go to nature. Go to something neutral. Go to something that is uh, eternally true. What a beautiful gum tree. Every time I think of gum tree, I think of Australia. And when we lived in Australia, there are a lot of gum tree. I think Australian people are like gum tree. They are elegant, they are straight, they are tall, but they are very relaxed. You see the leaves, the branches, and uh, they come out here, come out there, and they are very relaxed, very beautiful. And uh, this place also have a lot of sculptures. This is one of the beautiful classical sculptures. Bien sûr, it's good for wedding when they make a vow under this eternal love. So I'm on the back, on my way going back. do not like this kind of modern sculptures. I don't think they belong to this place. Wood belongs to nature and uh, stone, marble. Yes, because we need something strong. Although it's not easy to, to let them disappear, but, uh, but metal, I do not think it belongs to nature. So I'm ending it. I wish you to have a, a happy, 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 happy every day. I love you. I really do. I wait for the camera to finish. I wait for the video to end. I love you. I really do. Do 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 I really 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 do 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 do